Hi guys, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I am a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and this is Olivia, and there are some questions that a number of people have uh, called in about or asked our YouTube channel, and I thought we would try to answer some of these questions because they probably are questions that a lot of you might want to know the answer to. So. Why don't we start tackling those right now? What have we got, Olivia? Okay, so the first question is, does bleach in the water pick help to whiten your teeth? Bleach in the water pick, does it whiten your teeth? Well, not that we know of. <laughs> we don't re recommend a very much bleach in the water pick. It's a very small amount, but it does help to kill the bacteria that tend to cause periodontal disease or gum disease. So we tend to recommend that unless people have very high blood pressure, then that may actually kill some of the beneficial bacteria that uh, help to regulate blood pressure. But overall, most people can use it. We generally recommend it as another method of controlling the organisms that cause periodontal disease. So the second question has to do with home care. So um, my dentist told me to brush my teeth with hydrogen peroxide five times every day. Would this be bad for my teeth and gums? I don't recommend it. <laughs> Actually, overuse of hydrogen peroxide can cause, uh, what's, I've seen it, uh, what's, it sounds horrible. It's called black hairy tongue where you actually get an overgrowth of some of the gapilla in the tongue and they tend to pick up pigmentation and turn dark. It, it also may kill so many bacteria that can allow for fungus overgrowth. Mm -hmm. So I think hydrogen peroxide to some extent occasionally five times a day, I definitely would not do it five times a day. I think that's way overdoing it in my opinion. Once a day is more than enough. What, so what's next? So the next question is, if you use a soft brush and also no toothpaste, would you actually clean your teeth properly? I already use a soft brush to reduce abrasion. It's the brushing that cleans the teeth and I don't use toothpaste and so I, I think if you use a soft brush, uh, whatever brush you would normally use, you're going to get your teeth just as clean without toothpaste, which I don't use any because of the abrasiveness that all toothpaste has. And by the way, uh, many toothpastes, and I think up to 50% of toothpastes have some allergens in them, which for some people can cause a reaction. Uh, and I've seen it, I've seen patients who come to me with sore mouths, I tell them stop using toothpaste, stop using mouthwash, uh, don't use any chemicals in your mouth and they come back two weeks later their gums look good and they're feeling healthier so there may be some special cases where special toothpastes are needed but generally it's not the toothpaste that does the cleaning it's the brushing that does the cleaning and studies have shown that if you brush without toothpaste you are not going to get the kind of recession and the notching that you will get if toothpaste is used because there's no abrasive if you're not using toothpaste. So I just use, I use water. I use a water pick. And when I'm brushing that is, I just use water. I don't use toothpaste. I also use a water pick. That's a very important part of my regimen. And I use the, also use either floss or interdental cleaners to make sure that tissue is stimulated and clean between the teeth because that's almost always where gum disease starts. Okay, okay guys. Uh, what do I always say about uh, a healthier mouth? Do you remember? A healthy mouth, healthy body. Not necessarily. No. Healthy mouth, healthier body. Healthier body. <laughs> we can't guarantee your body will be completely healthy <laughs> if your mouth is, but we can guarantee that your body will be healthier if your mouth is healthy. So take care of yourself. Comments, questions, we love to hear from you. I love doing this stuff. and subscribe to our YouTube channel um, and you know there's a bell that can notify you I guess uh, if you s hit that uh, you'll be notified when we have a new YouTube video and we'll try to keep you up to date on everything that we possibly can and with that 
we both wish you a happy and healthy and great day. So take care. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemoth.com to schedule your appointment today.